<laughs> Alright, so it's day three. Um, <laughs> I uh, didn't get a chance to upload the video in time because uh, we have to go. I have to go pick up Lindsay. She works downtown. And then uh, we literally, we had to leave as, as soon as we could because uh, it's like a five and a half hour drive. It's like a five and a half hour drive and um, we're leaving as soon as she gets off. So I ran out of time. Uh, ed editing the video ran a little longer than I thought it was going to. So I turned on the hotspot on my phone. It's garbage. It's it's a terrible hotspot. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if this video is even going to be up today. I, whatever. Forget about that. All right. So it's day three. Um, today is basically just going to be driving. Um, we are driving to Sandusky, Ohio. It's about a five and a half hour drive from Chicago, Illinois. We're leaving from downtown Chicago. And uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just pick up the camera here and there. And uh, if I notice anything along the way or if I have any comments, I'll just pick up the camera and say what I have to say. Or maybe... All right, so we're downtown. We're three minutes away. Uh, I'm picking Lindsay up. So one thing I've noticed uh, in traffic, this transmission, I can't get used to it. It's like, it's really, it's really like sloppy. Um, if, you if you drive a manual or ever try driving a manual, it feels like you're riding the clutch, like going uphill. Um, from a dead stop. In a quarter mile, turn right onto North Clinton Street and then turn right. I think this is the first wash and that's gonna wave back at you. Yeah. And you're not in your car. All right, so we're at our first rest stop. Um, I think we're about halfway there. Uh, I've been driving for about two hours, maybe. Oh, yeah, two hours. Um, this this thing took nineteen dollars of gas um, at three dollars a gallon. So basically, six point three gallons. This okay. We could do this. This is the overall trip. This is from the moment I got my car. So let's do it this way. We've driven one hundred fifty six miles, and we got six six point three gallons. So one hundred fifty six divided by six point three. And uh, that's that's what my miles per gallon was. I mean, it says it right there, 29.1, which is super good. On this one, this is uh, from the moment I left to like start this trip, 33 miles per gallon. That's awesome. So the smart mode basically grades how you're driving. So right now it's saying uh, I'm driving econ economical, but I'm gonna floor it right now and see uh, see how quick it goes into aggressive. It's pretty, it's almost live, so instantly it tells you. That's cool. And then it stays in red until you go full eco. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we made it. Um, it's so cool when you lock it, it automatically goes down. So we got one bed, two beds, and then we got a conjoined room, three beds, four beds. So we made it to Cedar Point. Um, um, the car drove awesome. It was getting 40 miles per gallon. Um, the lane assist was huge. Uh, it's a real like... Um, you're, it's a real like you're being spoiled with all the technology in the car. The lane assist just did its job amazingly. There was so there were so many times where I would just let go 
and forget that I was even driving. Like I'll I'll go look at my phone and because of the lane assist, like I'll just forget I'm driving. So it's cool and it's kind of dangerous at the same time because I can see a lot of like people just forgetting and letting go. And it's not auto drive, it's just lane assist. So after like maybe 10, 15 seconds, it'll disengage because there's a sensor on the steering wheel, I guess, that knows that you're still holding onto the wheel and you're still paying attention. So after a while, it beeps, it gives you one warning, and then it'll give you a second warning, and then it'll just kill it. It'll, it'll kill itself. So, so um, yeah, so you could be, like, in the middle of a turn, and it'll kill itself, and then it'll, you'll just go forward. And I can see, like, someone getting really lazy and relying on it and then just getting into an accident because they forget, they weren't paying attention. Um, heads up display again really cool really awesome it worked flawlessly built-in GPS work really good really good surprisingly um, I never use any built-in GPS's I bought a TomTom -tom. I have a Garmin I never use built-in GPS's but this one worked really good it has its own volume control too so like if you're listening to volume on like 5% you can have the GPS set to like 50 so no matter what would you have the GPS it'll be super super loud or if you want the volume to be loud and the GPS to be low you could adjust it that way too so GPS has its own volume um, and it's set it's preset so you adjust it and you never have to touch it unless you want to lower it or raise it again uh, I was getting 40 miles per gallon car felt great um, the adaptive the smart cruise control is really cool too you can set a distance of how much you want the car in front of you to be so when the smart cruise control reaches a point where it's at that distance to the car in front of you, it will automatically start slowing down, it will give itself some distance, and then it will speed up to the cruise control again, cruise control speed. speed. Um, it automatically brakes for you, uh, lane is, or blind spot monitoring is awesome. Um, if you hit the turning signal while the blind spot's on, it beeps, so if you're not paying attention, it will still tell you that there's a car in your blind spot. And yeah, so this is going to be a short video, um, I'm going to edit it because I want to edit it now and I want it to schedule upload for tomorrow so that way while we're at the park um, it uploads on its own, I don't have to worry about it and tomorrow there, or there might not be a video out for tomorrow so uh, because we're going to be at the park from, we're in a park uh, resort so we get early access so we're going to be at the park from 9 to 12. If we're done early, then we'll head out early, but um, this isn't like your Six Flags for us where it's an hour away and we got a season pass and we go every couple months, you know, we're five hours away from home, so we want to make sure we do everything. And um, so yeah, we're going to make sure we do everything, so we might be here from 9 to 12 and then we're going to drive back home. Uh, we haven't decided if we're going to get a hotel on the way home or just drive straight through. We'll see how it goes. I really want to drive the car at night just because I want to experience the night features of it. So, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. There's a video.